Thank you for purchasing a Vortex water slide from SR Smith. In this video, we will show you how to successfully install a Vortex. Before starting your installation, please thoroughly read the installation manual. The Vortex water slide will arrive on two pallets. One pallet will contain the flume pieces as well as the required hardware. The other pallet will contain all of the metal pieces. Carefully inspect all components prior to assembly to ensure that no damage has occurred in transit and that a damaged part is not used. Proper installation cannot be overstressed as an improper installation may affect the safety of the user and void the product's warranty. Unload all the flume pieces with care by placing them on cardboard or other soft surface. The flume sections are all numbered B1 through B4 for the bottom sections and T1 through T4 for the top sections. In this numbering, one represents the lowest piece on the slide. It is important to assemble in the proper order. Next, carefully unload the metal pieces. Take special precautions to not scratch the powder coating on the metal. Additionally, make sure that you have all of the required tools needed to complete the installation. The water supply should already be placed near where the slide is to be installed. Now is the time to go through the hardware kits to make sure that you have everything you need. You will receive multiple kits. It is important to make sure that you keep this hardware separated and only use it for its intended purpose. The first step is to place the main support, paying careful attention to the required depth of the pool and overhang of the slide. These specifications are clearly outlined in the installation manual. Insert all five of the branch arms into the main support as shown. Place hardware through support and arms. Remember to always use anti-seize on all hardware and to not fully tighten until each section is completed. Working on your soft surface, assemble B1 and the exit piece using bolts on either side. Ensure that the gasket is in place between each piece. This should be pre-installed on your flume pieces. If the gasket is missing, some extra gasket material should be provided. If there is not enough material, stop installation and contact SR Smith. Next, flip over the two connected pieces and attach the exit support with the required hardware. Attach the assembled flume pieces to the bottom branch arm so that you can properly align the exit in relation to the pool. Pay special attention to the placement of the flume pieces on the branch arm. The flume should rest on top of the branch arm and should still maintain alignment with the second branch arm. Once placement is determined, place bolts temporarily through the first and second branch arms. Slide plastic gasket under the main support. This helps protect the powder coating from scratching. Double check to make sure that the center post is properly aligned and drill two anchor holes through concrete and main support holes. Insert two wedge anchors and tighten. Mark the holes for the exit support and then remove the slide pieces from the main support. Drill the remaining anchor holes for the main support and drill the two holes in the exit support using the plastic gasket as a template. Insert the anchors into the main support. Place flume back onto the branch arms with hardware on the lowest branch arm only. Insert wedge anchors into exit support and tighten. Place B2 flume piece on top of B1 and insert hardware starting on the inside seam. Use vice grips when needed to align the bolt holes. Repeat same process with B3. Attach B4 flume piece to entrance section with hardware and then place on top of the slide. Attach B3 and B4 with the required hardware starting at the inside seam. Next, insert the two bolts through the branch arms and into the threaded inserts inside the entrance section. It is essential at this point to go back through and tighten all hardware before the top flume is attached. Next, install gasket material on the outside edge of the assembled bottom flume. It should be approximately one inch from the outside edge of the top surface as shown. Begin to assemble T1 through T4, always beginning with the inside seam bolt, then the outside seam, and finishing with the two middle bolts. 
Use vice grips whenever needed to assist with lining up the bolt holes. With three to four people, bring the four assembled pieces to the slide structure and rotate them upward toward the slide entrance. If you stand on the flume during assembly, remember to not wear shoes as this can scratch or damage the slide surface. The top entrance piece should be bolted first at the inside seam, then the outside. This will hold the top plume into place as you attach the other hardware. Do not fully tighten bolts until all pieces are assembled. Starting at the top outside seam, you will need to place all 12 of the bolts through the top and bottom plume sections. It is important to start at the top and complete in descending order. Make sure that you use the PVC spacers when attaching the hardware. Once the outside bolts have all been placed, begin putting in the four inside bolts from the top down. Make sure you check with the installation guide to make sure that you are using the proper hardware. Once you tighten all hardware, the flume is complete. Before beginning assembly of the staircase or ladder, make sure to read the installation instructions. Lay out all hardware and tools to ensure that all necessary components are available. Move the main stair support into place, aligning the holes in the angle bracket with the holes in the entrance section of the flume. Place bolts and hand tighten. Make sure the support and entrance piece is level and that the mounting plate is flat against the concrete. Mark the hole locations, remove the support, and drill holes for concrete anchors into the deck. Attach hardware to the anchors as well as the front face of the stair support. Once all connections are made, tighten hardware. Next, place the outside and inside stair brackets using the holes on the inside of the main stair support. Pay careful attention to use the proper hardware and to not fully tighten until complete. Continue with second set of stair brackets. Move the mid-stair support into place and place hardware to attach it to the stair brackets. Attach remaining stair brackets. Begin installation of the stair treads. Do not install the bottom step or the rear and forward platform steps. This is where the handrail brackets are and will need to be accessed. Beginning at the top, align the pre-drilled holes in the stair treads with the holes on each side of the stair brackets. Once these steps are attached loosely, place the remaining steps with spacers between the bracket and the step as shown in the installation instructions. Next, taking special care to not scratch the powder coating, position the handrails in place. This will require three people to hold the rails in place. To ensure proper alignment, temporarily place all hardware through mounting holes. On steps 1, 5, 8, and 11, slide handrail bracket between stair tread and bracket and place hardware loosely. Make sure the mid-stair support and the stair treads are level and shift staircase as needed to achieve the proper alignment. Once level, drill holes for concrete anchors in the middle stair support. Make sure that the plastic gasket is placed between mounting plate and the concrete. Now, drill holes in the concrete or the bottom ladder bracket anchors. Once attached, tighten all hardware. If your Vortex is a ladder model, follow instructions in your installation guide for assembly. The ladder is all one piece and will not require extensive assembly. While standing at the slide entrance, place the left guardrail in the two sockets so that the bolt in comes all the way through the body of the slide. For an easier fit, insert both rails evenly. Use the proper hardware to attach the guardrail foot to the entrance section and support. Repeat with the right guardrail. After all hardware has been attached, tighten all hardware. Make sure you have all of the parts and tools needed to complete the plumbing. First, you will attach the pipe clamps to the center post. Next, assemble the PVC components and the flex hose per the installation instructions. Do not glue any of the parts together at this point. This plumbing system should be fully assembled to ensure correct orientation before the parts are glued together. Starting at the stub location, connect the flex hose and move upward toward ball valve. When all of these connections have been successfully completed, start at the top and use PVC primer and glue to attach each connection securely.
Included with your Vortex is a warning sign to inform riders of the slide rules and ensure safe use. The sign should be located within two feet of the entrance of the slide. Use the included concrete anchors to mount the warning sign. Once the slide installation is complete, go through all hardware connections and make sure everything is tight. Check the water output jet at the top of the slide and tilt downward so that the water is directed toward the seat of the entrance. Turn the water on slowly and check for leaks. Your slide is now ready to enjoy. Thank you for purchasing a Vortex water slide. For more information, please visit us at www.vortexslides.com or call us at 877-4A-Vortex and we'd be happy to assist you.